it's Wednesday and welcome to our daily prayers. Um, I was reflecting on things I've learned from camp, uh, the teenage camp I help lead. And I think one of them is the way as team, the team leaders, we encourage each other. Um, we have regular meetings every day, quite long ones actually, but they are full of laughter and praying for each other and sometimes facing difficult issues. And I hope I play my part in this by encouraging other leaders, but it is extremely stimulating um, working in that team. And it's a wonderful, practical way in which you see God work is through the encouragement of others. I wonder, has someone encouraged you that you can thank God for? Or maybe here is a time to encourage someone else. Let's pray together now. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And now we're going to come to a funny old bit of Exodus. The second half of Exodus is full of bits like this. And I'm just going to give you one little um, snippet of it. So this is uh, Exodus 25, verse 31. Make a lamp stand of pure gold. Hammer out its base and shaft to make its flower-like cups, buds and blossoms of one piece with them. Six branches are to extend from the sides of the lampstand three on one side and three on the other. Three cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms are to be on one branch, three on the next branch, and the same for all six branches extending from the lampstand. And on the lampstand there are to be four cups shaped like almond flowers with buds and blossoms. One bud shall be under the first pair of branches extending from the lampstand, a second bud under the second pair, a third bud under the third pair, six branches in all. Um, I think I've read enough. <laughs> it goes on and on. And obviously people have re reconstructed the, the details of this. And it's fascinating watching it and comparing it to um, these verses in Exodus. Um, how on earth do I reflect on buds and blossoms and cup holders and heaven knows what? I think the point I want to bring to you is God was specific and detailed and expected the detail to be carried out faithfully. When we come to God's law, we are expected to carry all of it out, not skipping over things, but being faithful in all the detail. So for example, the Ten Commandments or God's law for us isn't like an exam where you can pick or choose to answer three questions. We are there to follow all of it. And there'll be some areas also in which we all struggle with. But God's command is to be faithful in every area of our lives and in every area of the commands he gives us. That's a high calling indeed, but is one we're called to follow. And Christ is there to help us in his grace and the Holy Spirit with the strength that he gives us. But I just want you to have that in mind before you today the detail and the absoluteness of the things God asks you to do in every area of your life. And it's so wonderful that as we're faced with the demands of the law, we have a Christ who saves us when we can't keep up with all of it and gives us the strength to absolutely inhabit it and be faithful. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen.